In this video, we will take a look at how to set up a Gigacore network for a festival with guest switches. This video will take a more lighting focused approach, but the same principles apply when connecting for example a Dante network to a festival network. In our example, we have our festival switches at front of house and at our dim city, and we have set up a streaming ACN group, an AVB group, and an intercom group on these switches. First, we'll set the root bridge and IGMP query for our house network. In many cases, this will be the same switch, the central switch, that is show critical in either the front of house or at your system racks. In this example, we'll set our front of house switch as the primary root bridge by setting it to a lower bridge priority number. Now, we'll also set our front of house switch as the querier for all the groups. And we'll set our dim city switch as our secondary querier. In addition, we will also set up three guest groups or VLANs. For these groups, we will disable the IGMP querier on the Gigacore switches. As normally, the guest networks connecting on these groups should either have a working querier or will just be broadcasting data. We will also disable Rlink X on these ports, as we don't want the guest switches that are connected to these ports to become part of our spanning tree. And we definitely don't want the guest switches to become our root bridge. The root bridge is a reference point from where all the paths on the network will be calculated. That is why we should disable our link X on our guest ports, or on the ports of our touring set where we will connect to a festival or house network. As our link X is now disabled on the guest ports, it is a good idea to limit the guest ports to only one port per guest group on our front of house switch and on our dim city switch. That way, it is not possible to accidentally create a loop. So, in summary, create guest groups, disable Rlink X on the guest ports connecting to the guest switches, disable IGMP querier and snooping on the guest groups, choose a fixed switch to be the root bridge and the IGMP querier. To prevent all the guest data to flow all over our network, we can also use custom groups and the custom trunk for these guest groups or VLANs. That way, any broadcast data or flooded multicast data will only be broadcast to the switches where we have these groups set up and that are connected via the custom trunk. Also, keep in mind that it is not possible to run a trunk or ISL of a guest network over a festival VLAN. At one point, we will have to connect our guest network to our lighting group or VLAN. This can be done the classic way, where we have to make sure that we only connect one guest to our lighting VLAN at the same time, and that we don't have any conflicting IP addresses or streaming ACN or ARTnet universes that are conflicting. A safer and easier way is using a Luminex LumiCore, so we can keep our guest and our festival network separated. How that works you can find out via the link below.